Hello friends, this is Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of two arrays of hacker rank. Okay, you are given two integer arrays A and B, each containing n integers. Uh, size is uh, less than equal to thousand, and we can permute the order of elements in the array. And uh, the question is, is there a permutation of A and B such that a of i plus b of i is greater than equal to k for all i. So it means when you sum uh, the same element uh, at the ith index of a and the ith index of b, that should be equal greater than equal to k for all the elements. So uh, take an example of uh, uh, this one. There are two test cases, okay, and uh, the input. Uh, is uh, the first line contains two integers n and k the second line contains n space separated integers denoted by denoting array a the third line describes the array b in a s in the same format okay and uh, so these are the two arrays 2 1 3 and 7 8 9 so there are three elements in the array and we have to make sure that all the elements at index i uh, sum is greater than equal to 10 is there a permutation possible for that ok so now what we will do is we will first take the input inputs so let us take int n comma k ok now see in n and k ok now we will create a vector for a and b let us say we have integers so uh, yeah k is less than equal to 1 billion so integer can keep track of that so we will create an integer array a of size n and b of size n now uh, the solution the trick to this uh, question is this if we can sort one array in ascending order and the other array in descending order and if we check that uh, some of the elements at the index i is greater than equal to k then we are done ok if it is possible uh, then we can have a solution so we will use the sort function a dot begin we are solving uh, begin a dot end ok and we will reverse sort the b array so by default sort sorts in ascending order v dot end comma for descending order we will give it as g greater e t e r so this is a standard uh, function available in the library of algorithms to sort it in descending order. Now we will check if all the elements sum up to uh, sum, sum is greater than uh, all the elements at index i is greater than sum of which is greater than k. If there is any uh, index i such that uh, the sum is less than k then it is not possible to find such a permutation and we will answer no otherwise we will answer yes ok if i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus ok so if there is any index i uh, such that uh, the sum is less than k then we will uh, break and flag equal to false if a of i plus b of i is less than k then flag equal to false and break we will create a boolean flag here flag ok and uh, we have to run it for many test cases so we better uh, do this in a loop first we will take the number of test cases uh, 
okay while the test case is remaining we will have to keep doing this okay so before this loop we will set flag equal to true okay now if flag then we'll see out yes else will output no okay so this seems to be done uh, let's run a test case to see if if there is any compilation error okay so k is uh, uh, we have to make it capital k we'll run again oh something we have got wrong uh, we have to check it again uh, we have sorted this uh, in ascending order we have sorted this in descending order and fly is true if ai plus bi is less than k we have to check uh, so if it is less than k it is false okay now uh, if flag okay right false like uh, it should have given the correct answer okay we are what we have forgot is we have forgot to take the inputs for the vectors okay what we will do is for int i equal to 0 i less than n see this is what happens when you try to code fast c in a of i okay similarly uh, for vector b now this should work okay yeah we are successfully passed the sample test cases we'll submit the code so all the test cases have passed thanks for watching keep subscribing for more Thank you.